Now an I-Team investigation turns out more people than first thought are now involved in the firehouse vandalism investigation. Nearly a dozen firefighters were under the microscope after some of them ransacked their firehouse. Cody Holyoke uncovered exclusive new information. He is live downtown. Cody. Mike Courtney, good evening. Originally, nine firefighters were under investigation for things such as breaking dishes, even soiling firefighting equipment their last day on the job together before being transferred. Now, according to administration officials, that number stands at 11. And some of those firefighters opted to retire instead of facing the spotlight. Looking for Jerry? Yes. I'm Cody with Channel 4. This is Jerry Wendelberger, a 52 year old longtime member of the Milwaukee Fire Department. At least he was, until he chose to retire in the midst of an investigation into serious misconduct surrounding him and his co workers. Administration officials say Wendelberger was at Engine 32 last month when firefighters vandalized the house during their last shift together. Just have a minute of your time, please. We don't know Wendelberger's involvement, but we do know he and two other firefighters, David Rickert and House Captain Brad Sibley, opted to retire with benefits while the investigation played out. It should be noted Sibley was not at the house at the time. Six other men are suspended with pay, and two were fired, bringing the count to 11. There's no place for that anywhere um, in any employment. Um, relationship anywhere. Common Council President Willie Hines is the alderman for the district surrounding the firehouse. He tells me taxpayers there are astounded by the allegations. Their terrible decision has put a stain on the on the hardworking men and women of those who who fight fires on behalf of the city of Milwaukee. I feel like I was a you know, a scapegoat. Nathan Fager is one of two firefighters petitioning to get their jobs back. Heinz doesn't remember that strategy ever working. He and everyone else is waiting for the department to complete its investigation. I think it is better for us to allow them to do their job, make certain that they're able to dot their I's across their T's and, 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 and ensure that the investigation is thorough and fair. Now, petitions for those two probationary firefighters will soon be delivered to City Hall for consideration. Department officials hope to wrap up their investigation next week. Reporting live in downtown Milwaukee, Cody Holyoke, today's TMJ4. Yeah, hopefully we'll get more answers then about exactly what happened. Thanks a lot, Cody.